circuit elements. Okay, so we'll go back to circuit elements. An element is the basic building block of a circuit. Electric circuit is interconnecting of the elements. So we have different types of elements. First, we have active elements. Okay, so these are capable of generating energy. So example is yung battery na pinakita kanina. And in a bigger, in a macro level, yung generators natin. Okay, yung mga power plants natin. Okay, so these are active elements. So because we model yung, kung ano yung model ng battery at saka nung flashlight, yung model ng flashlight, that is still a model for large power plants, of course, with, with, with uh, additional uh, variables, no? Uh, they're in. And we have passive elements. So these are energy which, uh, these are elements which absorb energy. Okay? So these are resistors. Okay? So, yung resistor, ito yung model niya ng ating lamp. Ah? As, uh, what do you call this? As, uh, as, an, as a resistor. So, uh, uh, Although we will discuss this is for later, so maging ganyan siya. No? Instead of lamp jan, we can now change that into a store. No? And this is your current store. So if this is completed, interconnected, then therefore current will be flowing here. So ito yung sinasabi na passive element. No? So a resistor is a passive element because it absorbs energy no? and convert that energy to resistor to convert that energy into heat okay so that's why pag uh malakas yung current dito no? so ang mangyayari is iinit yung resistor mo and if you touch that mag feel mo yung heat okay and we have other elements uh, passive elements we have capacitors and inductors okay however uh this Capacitors and inductors, yes, they absorb energy, but they do not utilize this energy. Okay, so these are elements which are able to store energy. No capacitors and inductors and release this energy back to the system. Okay, so yung, yung deeper understanding niyan, we will uh, discuss no later on. the most important active element in an electrical circuit. So, ito yung iyong voltage source. Okay? So, later, yung kapakita natin ang source. So, ito na, source. It is divided into either a dependent source or uh, an independent source or a dependent source. So, uh, an independent source does not depend on other elements to supply voltage or current. Well, of course, conversely, independent source is the reverse of independent. So, dependent siya, say, the resistor in the circuit so para mag-function siya. Okay? So, that's what you call dependent source. What are voltage sources? These are voltage the same for all elements. And constant current sources are staying throughout the circuit. Okay? So, part of the circuit. Example, uh, yung pinakita ko kanina, uh, ano na yun? Uh, this is your independent voltage source. Okay? Then you have your resistor here. So take note, kalagi tayo mag-create ng complete circuit. So that is your voltage and this, this is your current here. Okay? However, we also have an independent current source. No? Pwede tayong gawa ng independent current source. And that is the symbol of your independent current source. And this is your resistor. Okay? So meron tayong magnitude ng current dyan. Of course, kung ano yung direction ng current dito, yun din yung magiging direction ng inyong current dito sa inyong conductor. 